Hi, I'm Talia. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to generate a Gemini API key and put it into your Postman vault to make a request. Let's get started. You're going to need a Gemini API key and I can show you how to get one. Okay, so in order to get a Gemini API key, you have to go to aistudio.google.com slash API key. And then on the top, you'll see this button that says create API key. Click on that. And then you can select a project from the drop down, and then click on create API key. Now this will be generated and then when it pops up, make sure you save it somewhere secure because you don't want your API keys just like in plain text somewhere. It's not not secure like that. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to let's go put it into Postman. Definitely use Postman Vault. For those of you who haven't used Postman Vault, if you click on this bottom right icon here, it'll open your vault and it'll show all of your API keys. And what's great about Vault is that you can store all of your sensitive data. It's completely secure and you can use these in your different requests with the um, syntax that's here, the two curly, two curly cues on each side. And then the other thing is there's a local vault that you can use locally and then a cloud vault that like you can share different things with your team or if you have to like upload something to the cloud. So vault is definitely the place to do it. You don't want to like hard code these in your request because that's not a good practice. So if I go back to the Gemini request, you can see here in the Gemini request, the value for API key is red. And if I try running this right now, the response I'll get is a 400 bad request. It'll say API key not valid, please pass a valid API key. So when I hover over that, I'm gonna paste my API key and then I'm also gonna click add to vault. So what this does is when I click on add to vault, it's gonna add this value to my Postman vault. So every time I run this command, it's gonna save that value and use that API key. So I put it in once and we're good to go. Postman vault for the win. Okay, let's try sending this request again. But before I send the request, I wanna show you what the prompt is. So this is a prompt that we have. It says, write a cold intro email to the CEO of a mid-sized tech software company we're introducing our AI powered scuba software. And for the AI agent, we're telling it, you are an experienced sales development representative, always maintain a professional and friendly tone, focus on the prospect's needs and pain points, avoid pushy language and prioritize building relationships over immediate sales. So let's see if this works. What happens when I press send? Okay, so we got a 200 okay, which is great. And in the response on the bottom here, we can see Subject streamlining your underwater operations with AI. And we have this cold intro email to the CEO of this tech company and it talks about this AI powered scuba software. So this is an example of how to use your Gemini API key in Postman using Postman Vault. And Postman Vault is a really great tool to use to secure all of your API keys, all of your sensitive data. So if you're not using it, again, it's on the bottom right, there's this little icon that says Vault and that's where you can input all of your sensitive data. So if you're not using Postman Vault, you definitely should because it's the most secure way to store all of your sensitive information, your sensitive data, your API keys. That's where you should be storing all of these values. For more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can watch more tutorials just like this.